button. We I got the I got the new engine mounted. I got it started, and I made that kitten purr. However, she did have a little bit of a cough, so I'm pretty sure it's in the carburetor that the issue is. And then when I shut it off, it was leaking like a BP oil spill. So what we're gonna do is now I got the carburetor off. We're gonna open it up, and I have it in this pan. And the reason why I have it in this pan is because there's a lot of little tiny pieces inside a carburetor. When I did the lawn air, you couldn't, we weren't able to really take it apart because of damage done to it. Whoa, that's not good. Man. Okay. So I will still take it apart. However, we will be buying a new carburetor for it. Um, but now I can at least show you what goes on in it. So there's this float on the bottom here, and as this floats up, there's a pin in there that shuts the fuel off. Um, let's see if I can get the pin out. It seems really rusted in there. Usually those just fall right out. So, let to say this thing's going to get a new carburetor. And it is a Chocomatic model. And it stinks because I just returned one of those with the other engine. But, so, anywho. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get this one apart either. Underneath the float, right back here, there's a little pin right in there. And as the float goes up, it gets more fuel, it goes up, it shuts the fuel off. And then as it needs more, it comes down, and it fills up, and it actually comes through that or the orifice that the pin goes in. Um, so we're just going to replace this item instead of trying to clean it up after seeing this mess. And I don't really think... I'm going to be able to do a whole lot with it. Um, yeah. So, when we get back, I'll have the new carburetor ordered and in, and we'll just put that one back on. Nice talking to you. A couple days later, we're back with the button with a nice shiny new carburetor. Ooh. So one of the issues with this carburetor from reading online is this hole right here is the wrong size for the whole bolt that comes with the air cleaner. Um, I measured it out. I might have a new bolt to put in there. Otherwise, I also have the information of the bolt that goes on the air cleaner. And we can tap that out. I think I'm just going to try to find a new bolt. I think that'll be easier. But it's this old relic. So something bad has happened already. You, you just know it is. So I'm going to show you the lawn air and well, you, you'll get to be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Alright, so here's the lawn air. Let's zoom in right there. There's my pull start. So the pull starter spring popped. Um, it's a real pain to get back in. So what I'm going to do right now is that rope right there. And I'll pull it and the rope will come completely off. Hopefully it'll start. Otherwise i got to wind it around manually again. And uh, we have to put the... and then pull it again. <clears throat> it's that great new technology they got. Actually that's older technology than what was on there. But... I need this machine tomorrow, and that was the best fix I can do. Because I can't find parts for this engine. I think this might just seal its fate. And I think we might go with something something new. So, last night, while I was waiting for the carburetor, I went and I took, put the pulleys back on the engine, and I got the belts all hooked up. So, all this thing needs right now is a carburetor. And should be ready to go. It's kind of an exciting time. 
Let's save for the moment for a minute. Okay, how about a few seconds? Save for a minute, save for a minute, save for a minute. Okay. So, I'll be right back. I gotta go grab a part off the old carburetor for this one so we can get a fuel line in it. And we'll start proceeding to put all of this beautiful machinery back together. in, turn it down, make sure it's pointing in the right direction, go, and where we want to start with is all the linkage, we got this one that fell out, this is our chokematic cable, this allows us to have a chokematic. Actually, before I do the chokematic, we're going to do the governor here. family heirlooms and I found one screw which should be the exact right size that I'm looking for here.
belts are all hooked up. All that's left to do now is start it up, which I, I'm sure I can just listen to this baby purr some more. Um, then flip the levers, make sure that everything grabs and nothing's going to fly off or break. Hopefully not break. Please don't break. Um, make sure we got some acceleration. I did get the hour meter hooked up too, so that's done. Um, literally, that's pretty much it. All we need to do is replace an air cleaner and test everything. And if all goes well, it'll go well. Yeah, it should go well. Um, it all goes well. I really say that with a lot of caution. I'll have a mower that runs, and then we can put the selfie on it and really start having fun with it with me falling off of it and everything. So, hopefully we will be concluding the next, what we thought was going to be the last phase of the button. Hopefully that phase is going to be coming to a close soon. Fingers crossed. Please pray. You worried? I'm worried. You, this has not been very much luck for me. I'm, I'm really kind of concerned and I'm worried. And I'm just pouring my worry on you and I shouldn't be doing that. And I really shouldn't. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and start this up and give it a test run. Okay, we're on to the next step. We hit a few snags. So, after the, the carburetor didn't work, what it was doing was completely flooding the engine. The needle pin, there's a pin in the carburetor attached to a float mechanism. When this bowl down here fills up with fuel, the float goes up and closes that pin, letting it know it has enough fuel and it helps regulate the fuel. Well, that pin wasn't going shut, so it was just flooding the engine with gasoline and I pulled the muffler off because that's really where the gasoline was coming from and just poured gas out of it. Um, I don't know if you heard that too. So when I took it off, it sounds like a cowbell when you rattle it. Uh, that would get really annoying mowing and it's probably not going to be very effective so it's going to be really loud on top of it. So I ordered a new muffler. But to get back a little bit to what was going on, so after I diagnosed that and I cleaned this brand new carburetor for the fourth time, the needle finally stuck. Uh, so one of the things to note when you get these cheap carburetors, clean them. You, they probably need it. So after the engine filled with oil, we got that all fixed up. I was able to get it running for maybe about three seconds. I wanted to shut it off right away. And the reason why is because when that happens, the crankcase fills with gasoline. When the crankcase fills with gasoline, uh, it just really dilutes the oil. So you lose all the viscosity of the oil, and the oil can't do its job. So I went and I drained the oil, pulled the spark plug, let it sit for a day or two, waited for the muffler to come in, and then I uh, put the spark plug back in, put the drain plug back in, put in some fresh oil. So we should be ready to roll on that front. Uh, I still need to get a new air filter. This air filter is actually pretty clean, so I'm going to go with it for now, but I'm going to order a new air filter. Just complete the process. And we're going to put on the new muffler right now. Look at this. It's all, oh man, it's not rusty at all. I'm not used to that. And if you shake it, it doesn't make a weird noise. They put the new parts too. Fancy. We've got the new guard holder that, you know, was lost. I have no idea. A new, a new guard is actually pretty pricey. So we probably won't be replacing that, at least not right away. 
I'll just have to make sure not to touch the hot muffler. <laughs> I'm going to touch the hot muffler. I just know I am. We got two new bolts, a new gasket. Uh, another bolt here for the front. So these two go down the middle. Like this. This is official Briggs and Stratton. It's even got all the little markings and stuff on it. It's a nice low tone muffler, so it should be quieter than just the standard muffler. They do have an ultra low tone, but I wasn't sure if it was going to fit the machine, so we didn't go that way. Put the gasket on. Now, the gasket is actually kind of a cool little material, and this is designed to hold up to the heat. I mean, a cereal box wouldn't exactly hold up to the kind of heat that this does needs so we got that fun cool little gasket and it's just a, a screw on mechanism here take that you want to get your bolts started so you don't strip them mufflers on for the most part I'm just going to get the deflector in there, and uh, then I can tighten on the spark plug, plug it in, start it up, and take her for a spin. I hope I got it this time. I really hope I got it this time. And no, I don't try to sabotage this on my own. No, this is all happening on its own. Um... Yeah, with this new carburetor, I was not expecting that. So, anyways, it was, that, it was working just like the old one did. And it was all rusted up. At least that one had an excuse. But yeah, this one's supposed to be brand new. And it's got all the nice shiny over here. I mean, it feels nice with the nice shiny cover here. It's a lot of shiny. Almost too shiny. I won't be able to look at it because it's so shiny. Now I'm just rambling. Oh, because I'm nervous. I don't know. I'm just trying to procrastinate because I'm really worried. I don't have a working mower or that I do more than just a few extra adjustments. Um, yeah, it's a rough time for me. And typical of this old relic style, it's probably not going to work. So, I guess without further ado, I'll finish this up and, um, yeah, we'll cut to uh, whether or not it works.
we might have a winner now. I can smell a little something funky. I'm hoping it's just a muffler and not a belt. But PTO works. The corner is really nice. Um, all I gotta do is take it on some grass and actually cut something with it. But I think I got a mower. Can't you feel the excitement? All right, I'm out here, the maiden voyage of the uh, button. I have to admit, it's kind of fun. Um, let's see if I can figure out a way to get this thing in the tree. Yeah, that ain't working. Uh, so you can actually see what I'm doing, what's going on. I should take it for a spin, per se. Wow, that thing's got to go. This is a buckthorn. I'm trying to prop you up in. Good. And uh, finally, it's made in voyage. 